Hey everyone, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to copy and backup your save files in Pokemon Reborn. So looking through the menu options, I didn't really see the ability to do that, but it's actually pretty simple. Uh, you just uh, have to manipulate some files in some of uh, the game folders. So this could be useful at points if there's a specific spot in the game where uh, you want to save the state of the game so you can easily go back to that state. Uh, one good example is here. Uh, so in this save file, I've now acquired 9 badges and am about to cross the border into a gate city. Uh, but in case you didn't know, once you do that, you are uh, completely locked out of the bottom portion of the map until you get four more badges and can fly back. And spoiler alert, or semi-spoiler alert, the map changes a lot once you return. So uh, it might be useful to kind of main uh, make a save point here. Um, so in case after you cross the border you realize that you had some unfinished business that you wanted to complete, then you can revert back here, uh, complete that unfinished business, and then cross the border again and then redo whatever you've done since then. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is save the game. And once you do that, um, you can go into the folder containing that game and you should have a save folder shortcut here. Uh, this is what it looks like on Windows. Uh, I think there might be something similar on Mac, but um, I'm not 100% sure about that. But if you go here, it takes you to a, a folder containing all of your save files. And you should have one called game.rxdata. If this is the only save file you've been playing in, then uh, it'll just be that. If you've had other save files, then you should see uh, game underscore 2.rx data or game underscore 3.rx data, etc. for the other save files that you have. So if you want to copy the save file, all you got to do is uh, just make a copy of the file in the same folder and then rename it to uh, the next number. So in this case, it would be game underscore 2. Rx data. So now you have two save files that are the same thing. So if we were to restart the game um, and go to other save files, now we got two save slots, both um, which both of which are the same thing. So let's say uh, in save slot two now uh, we go across the border, and then I'll speed through the cutscene here. Then we realize we find them sleeping, Terra makes a dramatic entrance, and then proceeds to um, knock them over uh, to a gate circus. And then we uh, head over to the circus, and now, as you can see, you try to go back, you can't. And uh, let's say you save the game here, and uh, oh no, now in this save file we are trapped here because we can't go back. Uh, but if you realize at this point that you had unfinished business, then uh, all you really need to do is just uh, restart and then uh, go back to the older save file, which is save slot 1 in this case, and boom, now you're back to the checkpoint and can do what you needed to do. So that's how to copy a save file. Uh, let's say, uh, what if you wanted to back up a save file, but you didn't want it to show up in the menu? Uh, well then, um, all you need to do is uh, rename the backup to something that doesn't start with game. Uh, so I'm just going to call it backup. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, just make sure you remember um, that. Um, make sure you name it something where you will remember what it means. And uh, just to make sure that there aren't any gaps in the menu, I'm just going to call this uh, game.rxdata. I'll just rename it as such. So now, uh, when we restart the game, um, go to other save files, now there's only one, and it's only the one from a gate circus. Uh, but then let's say we want to restore that backup, well then we just gotta rename backup back to something that starts with game. So I'm gonna just rename this to game underscore 2 just for consistency with what we had before. And uh, I'll call this uh, game.rxdata, so now slot 1 should have the old version. So then we start the game. And then um, other save files, and now they're both here. 
So yeah, uh, this can be useful uh, in a case like this. Another way that this could be useful is um, say you were interested in playing uh, the game uh, on both routes of a plot split. For example, uh, the Zakram route and the Rashiram route, you want, you're interested in playing both of them. Well, uh, the major decision for that is in the final room of the Water Treatment Center. And if you didn't want to replay the game from the beginning up until the Water Treatment Center, what you can do is uh, play up to the last room of the Water Treatment Center once, and then right before entering that room, save the game, make a copy of the save file using the methods um, that I've shown, and then um, on one copy you can play the Zakram route, and on the other copy you can play the Reshiram route. So things like that, um, this um, technique uh, might be useful. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks so much for watching, um, and hope you have a great day.